Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I've been thinking about this for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I have this idea of a new video series that I may end up doing here if all goes well with this video. But what I plan to do is put myself on a room challenge of sorts where I would just be allowed to spend a certain amount of money to go buy a whole room or the furnishings for a room. In this video, I'm planning on shopping for a dining room and I'm allowing myself a budget of $200 to do this. And that includes, you know, the furniture, any decorations I use, uh, dishes for the table, uh, possibly a chandelier and maybe even a rug if my budget allows, but just anything that would be fitting for a dining room. Of course, I'll need to shop, you know, thrift stores, garage sales, uh, the marketplace on Facebook, uh, Craigslist or anywhere where I can pick up pieces for cheap or maybe even free. So the only rule with this is just to stay within my budget and I am letting myself have a few allowances as far as if I go buy a piece of furniture and I repaint it, which likely that will happen, I don't have to count the paint. Often I just have paint around here anyway from other projects that I can use and even if I go buy new paint uh, that will be available for other projects too then so I kind of thought about it and I decided to not count that. And then also if I go out in my shop and I you know, make a little something to add to maybe the decorations or uh, to reinforce a piece of furniture or anything like that, I don't need to count that. And the other thing that I decided to not do was to put myself on a time limit. I think that would be kind of fun, but for me, I know I'll enjoy it more if I'm not on a time limit. Uh, so this video may well span over the course of several weeks you know, as I find these bargains, but I'll make sure to get video footage of everything. So join me in this challenge and enjoy. For my dining room table and chairs, I had two things that I kind of wanted to look for. I knew it would just be a happen if I'd actually find them, but I really like to see a planked top for a table, even if it was just fake, you know, lines cut across the top to make it look like separate boards. And then for the chairs, I really would have loved to have some that were padded uh, that I could re-upholster, add my own little touch for that with a pretty, you know, fabric. I did a lot of searching on Craigslist and Marketplace, and I finally managed to find one that I thought looked pretty good. It was in Akron, Ohio, which was about an hour and 15 minutes at least from our house. And John, my husband, kindly went with me one evening to go get it and it actually turned out to be perfect. I paid $60 for the set, which is a really good price. And of course it even looks nice the way it is, the dark color if somebody would want dark. But for my dining room that I'm putting together, I of course want kind of a maybe French country, shabby chic look. That's kind of what I have in mind, so of course I'll be painting it.
admit this is, I think, maybe the second or third time that I've ever bought Annie Sloan paint. I use the wax a lot. You guys have seen that in my videos. But I admit, I often just go to my Do It Best brand paint. And then, of course, often during the summertime or spring and summer months, I spray paint outside. So, of course, I don't want to use, you know, chalk paint to run through my sprayer. So I will just buy the Do It Best brand paint. I you know, love that paint. But being I was going to paint in my kitchen today, I thought, I'm going to try Annie Sloan paint again. I haven't done it in a while. And I really am loving it. I know it's really pricey, that's often the reason I don't buy it, but I do remember it does go a long way. But here is how the set looks after just one coat of paint and it dries so fast I'll be able to continue painting here and I'll probably just film one chair I'll take it over to where the lighting is better so you guys can see what a second coat will do here usually I don't put paint in another container here to use it but um, I notice this really dries rather quickly and I don't want to dry out my main can of paint it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting here, but the second coat definitely made a big improvement. But I did end up touching up some of the areas with the third coat, um, especially the areas that you could you know, easily see. Um, I kind of ran out of paint, so I didn't have enough to just do a complete third coat. I forgot to mention the color of the paint is called Old White. Here I am distressing the piece. I'm using a fine grit sandpaper. Um, it's so nice to start out with a dark base like this set had. That way I can bring that nice dark color out along the edges. I'm sanding the surface here not to bring out any you know, dark color necessarily, but just to get it nice and smooth. Uh, chalk paint is so um, dull or matte and it just helps so much to just quickly run a piece of sandpaper over it before applying the wax. In the past I've always just used a rag to apply the Annie Sloan clear wax and when I was in the store the other day to get the paint I saw these brushes there and I've heard people say that these are just so much nicer to apply the wax with it actually you know uses even less wax um, a lot of it you know sometimes goes to waste if you just use a rag already I can see it's a lot easier to apply with a brush versus a rag so I think I'm really gonna like it after applying the wax evenly, you know, with the brush, I'm just going over it with a rag to kind of buff it and make it nice and smooth. Oh, it gives such a nice smooth finish. I've always just loved this wax. At this point I had the table and chairs all painted, um, still hadn't gotten any fabric for the seats, but I was still looking for a piece of furniture to serve as a buffet of sorts in this dining room space. And often for a buffet I like to use maybe a dresser, 
a sideboard or a wash stand, just something to serve as a place to hold, you know, some dishes. One day I was in the Apple Creek area and I decided to stop in the thrift store while I'm there anyway. And lo and behold, I stumbled upon the most beautiful piece of furniture. It was perfect. I knew I wouldn't even have to do hardly anything with it. Um, I love the color and it had the chippy paint. Some of you may have seen this on Instagram. I had showed a picture of it a few days after I bought it. And you would not believe what I paid for it. I could not believe it. It was marked $15.95 and I, of course, snatched it up right away. Um, the drawers slid open easily. Often old pieces like this have, you know, drawers that are stuck. Uh, that wasn't the case. The only thing I did with the piece was clean it up and apply a wax over the surface just to protect it from chipping any more. But check out the beautiful green color. I really hope it shows up on the video here. Um, it's probably one of my favorite colors. So vintage looking. It even had glass knobs, although some of them were broken off. I ended up buying new ones from Amazon. set up I can kind of visualize what I still need to finish my project I'm still looking for you know dishes of course and some other decorations maybe some wall decor and then also a centerpiece for the table and we have a thrift store here in town that I'm going to check out I hope you can hear me. I left my mic in the house, but I wanted to quickly show you what I found at the thrift store. Um, I was really impressed. I thought I had quite the hauling here. Um, I'll first show you the items that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use. Um, I found these plates. They're a nice off-white color, and I paid a dollar each for them. Um, they're a kind of a granite material, I believe, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use all of these jars here. I may end up painting them, but the quart jars I paid 50 cents each for, and this one was $1.99. And then I found these napkins and I paid 50 cents each for them. Such a pretty color and they match perfectly the piece of furniture behind me. So impressed. This metal jar holder was 75 cents. Uh, this is actually what we always used at home. You know, growing up we did a lot of canning and you just set your jars in here in, this, in the different spaces, uh, set it down into the canner and then once you're finished, you know, canning your food, uh, you just pull them all out at one time like this 
and I have plans to put these jars, of course, in here after they're painted. And this wooden tray here was a little more pricey. I paid $8.99 for it. Still not bad. It's a really nice, heavy wooden tray. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up painting some of it at least. Um, it's kind of almost too maybe brown for me to go with everything else. It's still a pretty color. It's not, you know, orangish or anything. And I found this picture and I paid $10 for it. Also a little more pricey. And I almost think I could get away with, you know, hanging it on the wall exactly like this. But this is not quite the look that I want. So I'll probably end up painting it. Uh, sorry in advance if you really like those flowers, but I think this may end up being like a chalkboard. I really, really like the frame part of it. And I think my favorite thing of all has to be this pretty fabric that I found. It has such a farmhousey look to it, and it's gonna be perfect to cover my seats with on these chairs. And it even is, it has like a heavy, it's more of a heavyweight fabric that would be perfect for seat covers. And I paid $2 for it. Very impressed. At this point, I'm not quite sure do I have enough things. Um, I did get four glasses for my place settings and some silverware. I don't have that with me right now for some reason, but um, I'm not sure do I have enough things or not. I'm going to go ahead and work with what I have here. I'll kind of set it up and see how it looks. If I still need something, I might swing by another thrift store. I plan to make a chalkboard out of this frame and as I was removing the glass I broke it so I'll probably just end up painting the actual picture, maybe the back of it with chalkboard paint. didn't get a video of this but John ended up helping me with the vinyl removing the vinyl from the rest of the chair seats which was really nice since they took a lot of time I was then able to put the new fabric on while he was you know removing the old vinyl
I didn't get a video of me painting this tray, but I used a Rust-Oleum um, satin white paint, and here I am distressing the edges. As you can see, there is still $45.34 left over. I feel like I could still go buy a pretty antique chandelier maybe, or maybe even a rug, but for this video, time won't allow it. Or I could always just save the money for my next project. This was so much fun, I definitely want to do it again. All of these items on their own aren't you know, that special or anything, but you know, just work with them a bit, give them some paint and you can really pretty things up. Or that's always my motto, with paint anything is possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more room challenges kind of like this, let me know down below in the comments. I really had a lot of fun doing it. Um, if I were to do it differently, I'd probably allow myself a little more time to do it. I feel like I didn't quite get everything done the way I wanted to. I would have loved to add a rug and maybe a chandelier, but I really wanted to post this video today and I saw I would run out of time, so I just made do with what I had. Hopefully you guys were able to tell you really don't need to spend a lot of money to make something pretty. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.